Hi, this is Ned, and welcome to my new YouTube channel. I'm going to be making a series of videos going over uh, the curriculum from AP Calculus A, B, and B, C. I hope that I can help out anyone who's watching these videos because I found that calculus videos were helpful to me during the school year. Uh, ones that I found on YouTube were really helpful, but I found that there wasn't really a comprehensive guide on AP Calculus itself, the actual AP curriculum, so I'm hoping to fill that gap with the, these videos. Now I'd like to begin with limits. This is a very important uh, thing to understand in calculus. It's the idea that uh, well, here, I'll do this. I'll set you up with uh, maybe basic definition. Then I'll kind of flesh it out so we can understand better what it exactly means. Okay. So, if we have a graph of y equals x, uh, hopefully I can get this. Ah, uh, forget it. Okay. If we have the graph y equals x, like this, I'll go ahead and write this out. If we have the graph y equals x, um, this is just in the first quadrant, not uh, including the part that extends into the third quadrant there, but uh, you you might be interested to know that you can find a limit anywhere in a given function. Now, what a limit is is what uh, the points around a given point on a function suggest that that point will be. Now, that sounds a little weird, so I'm going to go ahead and explain this a little more. So I've, if I pick the point 4, if we consider this the point 4, how we normally find what this point is going to be is by taking this x-coordinate and plugging it into the function we have here and looking at its corresponding y-coordinate. Now, this works well for the functions we've dealt with so far, but what calculus is going to do is make us deal with functions uh, that have undefined values. What would we do if this value here were undefined? Now, I'll show you what this would look like. I'm just going to go ahead and try to erase this a little bit. So let's say we change this function. Let's say we called it y equals x times x minus 4 over x minus 4. Now, now what we have is uh, the exact same function here if we let x minus 4, if we let the x minus 4 terms cancel. We have the exact same function but because this x minus 4 is uh, in the denominator, we have to go back up here and clarify that this point is empty. That there's a spot there that is just a void. Because if you plug in uh, 4 into this equation, you get 4 times 0 over 0. And you can't have 0 in the denominator, so that instantly makes this undefined and there's no point. But what the limit says is that the limit at x equals 4 is what the values, what the lines around that point suggest this is going to be. If we follow this, uh, we can see that there's a pattern. It's going along over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, like this, considering the rise and run. And it continues along until it just hits the spot and it makes a jump. Um, and really, this is a huge hole. This is an infinitesimally small, just at the very point 4. Uh, makes a jump right over 4 and continues along. Now, we can look at this and say, hey, there's a pattern here. There should be a point right there. And that would fill this up and the pattern would be complete. Everything would look right. The points around it, 
the points before it lead up to 4, and the points after it lead away from 4. So the limit here has to be 4. Now, hopefully this gives you an idea of what the definition of a limit is. And uh, I like to make uh, more videos. This is just the first lesson. I'm going to come back with some more videos with uh, some more complex examples. And uh, that way I can kind of uh, keep some natural uh, kind of distinctions between each component of the understanding limits. So see you in the next video.